Hey everybody. Here's there's some sliced jalapeno and some sliced onion rings. We're gonna put these in these wonderful French fries and we'll show you how to make. Oh yeah. That's right. And here we got two pretty good sized uh, taters. Uh, I don't know, there's my hand. I'm an old guy, and what you want to do is you want to slice your potatoes. First thing you want to do is wash them really, really well. Get in all the nooks and crannies, make sure there's no dirt in there. Because we're going to be cooking everything. We're not going to peel these taters. We don't want to ruin them. That's where all the vitamins is. It's pretty simple to do. You just have to be careful not to cut yourself. Especially if you live out in the boonies. This is the way I do it. I just line them up here and then I come back through and make some pretty thin slices. the worst part about making french fries is slicing them up, you know. These are going to look pretty good though, I think. If you can see here, there's the size of them right there. You see? Okay. okay, now here I have the spuds all cut up and I'm soaking them in a the little water. Number one, it stops them from turning brown. Number two, it takes a little bit of the starch out of them. So what you want to do, you want to soak them like this until it's about time to uh, start them frying. You want to get your hot, your grease good, your grease good and hot, and then you want to rinse them, and then you got to dry them off with paper towel really well. Grease, hot oil does not mix. Okay. Okay, we're to the fryer now. I put a tater in there by itself, and it looks like they're ready. It looks like the oil's ready too. That's what it looks like when it's ready. I don't know what temperature that is. So what you want to do is you want to put all your french fries in your oil and be real careful and make sure they're dried very well. Okay, now we have our french fries in. I don't want to escape either. Okay, I'm going to stir them around make sure they're all, all doing well. They're frying away. Okay, and now that they're all frying well, I'm going to take the, remember the jalapenos and the onions, I'm going to drop them in. Those jalapenos, remember, I, if you can see here, I cut them pretty thick. That way they don't fry into nothing while you're cooking them. And these don't have no special name or nothing. Now I'm going to take the onions and make little rings. I mean, these aren't going to be like store-bought onion rings or anything. They're just going to be fried onions. I just make them into little rings and throw them in there with them. Everybody in there, you know, is cooking away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you just start cooking them and I don't even stir at this point. I let them cook for a little bit. And then after everything gets to getting happy and cooking, uh, I will stir it up. Okay, now I'm going to take my little utensil here, which is nothing but a little scoop I use to get them out with, and stir everything up real nice. Mix the peppers and the onions down in there. Now, if you have children, they're going to eat these french fries. Um, they do put a little bit of spice into the potatoes, but not a lot. Um, so you might, you know, if they're really sensitive, or if you're sensitive, I, I wouldn't put the jalapenos in. Okay, this is two jalapenos and about 
a half of one medium onion is what it says. Just continue cooking. They are doing lovely. That's about the speed you want them right there. Perfect. Perfect cooking speed. Okay, <clears throat> we're getting to a pretty crucial part here. Uh, you see how this? You see how they're starting to float up a little bit? Don't mess with them at that point, because that's the part. That's the point to where they become kind of mushy if you mess with them. You just gotta hang in there and let these suckers get crispy, because we're looking for crispy. Okay, now we have the potatoes or french fries or Texas fries as I call them. See how they're starting to get solid now? See this? Oh yeah. The onions are still nice and the jalapenos don't burn up either. So this is what you're looking for. Mostly everything in there is floating. Okay. These make some super delicious french fries here. You can make somebody your best friend with these, I promise you. Okay, now I'm going to plate them up. And we'll show you the results. There you have it, folks. Some delicious, delicious fries. And I'll tell you, these uh, jalapenos, they did put some heat into these, so... With the kid thing, you want to be sure and maybe chill with the peppers. See y'all later. This is a little addition at the end. I want to show you how I, we're having hot dogs tonight. And this is how I make my hot dogs. Okay, we dropped them right in that oil, right where them french fries were. And we're going to make some delicious, delicious hot dogs. Okay, you see this? The hot dogs are floating. Let's look at them here. Whoops. <laughs> Great. I dropped two. There's what they look like anyway. Well, they're good this way.